What's going on guys? This is Simon from SG and today we're going to talk about passwordless login. So we're going to use login by magic and kind of go through the steps of how to add a passwordless login to your WordPress and WooCommerce site. So when your customers are checking out and they already have an account, they don't, if they forget their password, I know a lot of like problems arise from there. They forget their password or if you're using WooCommerce subscriptions, they have to have an account and they reset their password and then they abandon your site. And overall, just making the login process easier. So let's jump into it. But first, if you're new here, make sure to click that like, click that subscribe. The road to 3000 subscribers, let's get to it. Oh, and all the links can be found in the description box below. Okay, so login by magic. I am going to install this plugin on this Charlie's Coffee site and Login by Magic has up to 10,000 free logins that you can use um, with their free trial. And something I noticed kind of pop up recently and yeah, wanted to, wanted to show you guys. Maybe you'll get some value out of it. Awesome. So I'm going to go to settings, login by Magic, and I need to get this publishable API key and secret key. So I am going to try for free. And as you can see, first 10,000 logins free. And I'm not sure what their price it is um, after that, but we'll just come back here and say, try for free. And let's sign up. Awesome, so it's gonna send me an email, classic, um, which it's supposed to do, because I guess it is a magic link. So you can kind of see right here, even when I sign up for theirs, um, like on their site, they're giving me a magic link. So I'm gonna log into Magic Backend. Awesome, so it's creating my account right now. And the first thing I wanna do, so I have this first app right here, right? Awesome, so I'm gonna click on this first app and I am going to get my publishable API keys and I'm gonna add it here. And then I'm gonna get my secret keys and I'm gonna add it here. Awesome, and then I'm just gonna do this for um, administrators and WooCommerce users for now. I may have to add like slash my account or the full URL. I just wanna test this out and see how this is going to work on our site. So with that, I have this and now I'm going to personally log out. And after logging out, you can see it just asks for my email address right now. So. I am going to re-enter my email address and it's going to send me a magic link like it said it would. Um, so it says log into first app. So I should probably rename this to Charlie's Coffee, but we'll get to that in a second and how you can add like a custom logo and colors. Awesome. So I logged in and um, everything does look fine. Um, it brought me to the home page, but I could customize this to bring me to the account page. So let me go back to this login by magic. I think it might be dashboard. I wanna to go to settings, login by magic. So I'm gonna do redirect to the my account page. And I just wanna switch this to customer for a second. And let me just take this off and say, if we're just only gonna do this for WooCommerce users that are customers, and let's open up an incognito window and we're going to go back to Charlie's Coffee Co. And I'm going to go to my account and let me just enter a test email. And I get an error to send email. Okay, so this error is happening because I need to just do slash my account. Awesome, so now this works. So I'm gonna go to my email, but just make sure only to do your uh, WordPress URL and then if you want it to take it somewhere. So if you just wanna take, if you only wanted this for administrators, you could do slash WP admin. Um, but since we are focused on WooCommerce customers, we're gonna do go to my account. So come back here. I just try to log in if you remember, and I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna open this in a private window. 
Awesome, and it's took me to my account page. So let's try to customize this email um, to make it better and, and maybe more on brand. So I'm gonna come back to this dashboard and we have settings. So let's just edit this name to Charlie's Coffee Co. Let's save. Cool, so, and then I'm also gonna come to this branding tab and I'm gonna upload a logo to use, something like that. And I'm gonna change this primary color. Cool, so I'm gonna save this and I could even do a light theme or dark theme. Right now I'm gonna keep it light theme and awesome. So I can see the preview of what it's going to look like. You know, I could also mess with this more and do Charlie's Coffee Co or Charlie's Coffee, or whatever I wanna do it. Let's just go back to this, my account, and enter in an email to restart this process. Awesome, so you can notice it uses this updated branding, and if I visit my email address, I can see that it nicely puts in the logo of my shop, and basically a nice little login form that I can use to, um, use a password to this login. So I can click this and it's gonna redirect me to the My Account page and I will be able to see you know, my orders, you know, log in, log out, and go through the checkout process. So this is just an example of using a password as login with Magic. Um, check out the link in the description box below. And I hope you guys got value out of this video. Um, give it a shot, try it for free. Um, maybe it'll help solve some of those issues that you're seeing on your WooCommerce site with customers checking out. So have a great rest of your day guys. And yeah, I'm trying to get, I think I have like 30 more videos I have to get done this year in 2021. So I need to start cranking out some videos. So click that like, click that subscribe, the road to 3000 subscribers. Um, have a great rest of your day. Peace.